Hey guys, this is Dr. Din again. So today we're going to be learning how to do the neck exam with ultrasound. So a lot of times when you examine the patient's neck, you can examine their thyroid area and palpate, but it's also nice to be able to see what you're actually feeling at the end of the day. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the, the linear probe, so you guys are used to this already, and I'm going to take a decent amount of gel and just put it on the probe. Here. And the structures that we're going to identify on this exam, R1 is going to be the thyroid. That's going to be really easy to see. The other thing is you can actually see the trachea as well as the cricoid cartilage, the thyroid cartilage. Okay, And then we're going to kind of recap what we saw before, the car carotid artery as well as the internal jugular vein. Okay, so let's, here's our model over here. We're going to focus on his neck. Okay, And once again, this indicator right here is going to be towards the patient's right side, indicator towards the right, okay? And I'm going to go right in the middle of this neck, where you think his thyroid would be. I'm going to place the probe there. And when you look on the ultrasound screen, you see right in the middle is the trachea, and flanking the trachea is the thyroid, okay? And the thyroid has a grayish appearance, and the trachea looks like a circle, because that's the shape of the trachea. And if you go lateral here, you're going to see that's the right part of the thyroid as well as the right carotid artery. And if you go even more lateral, you'll see the internal jugular vein and the carotid artery. Okay? And if I come back to center, once again I'll see the trachea as well as some neck muscles anterior to the trachea. And if I go the other direction, I'll see the left portion of the thyroid, as well as the carotid artery, the left carotid artery, and the left internal jugular vein over there. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to midline here. So this is a transverse view, or a short axis view. So if I wanted to get a long axis view, I'd come back and then I'd turn it 90 degrees, like you guys have learned to get a long axis view of this structure. So here you have the trachea and I'm just going to decrease the depth so you can see the structures I'm trying to point out. So the top most, most structure is the cricoid, cri, uh, the cricoid membrane and as you come down you see the tracheal, tracheal rings. Those hypoechoic structures are tracheal rings. Okay, And there is the cricoid membrane and if I go even more superior, you can see a little bit of the thyroid cartilage as well as the cricothyroid membrane. Okay? I'm going to come back down here, and that's the trachea. And if you can count the rings right there, you can see ring one, two, three, four, and five. All right?